Believe it or not, we're 74 days out from the Iowa caucuses. We'll be there, of course. And the Democrat field is in, well, total chaos. There's no clear front runner, no unifying message from any of the candidates, except their hatred of President Trump. Now, what's really telling is that the most illuminating moments from last night's Democrat debate all revolved around race. And I am not so much in a constructive way, especially for Joe Biden. First, he got into it with Cory Booker. I hear him literally say that I don't think we should legalize marijuana. I thought you might have been high when you said it. The war on drugs has been a war on black and brown people. I think we should decriminalize marijuana, period. And I think everyone, anyone who has a record should be let out of jail. One of the reasons I was picked to be vice president was because of my relationship, long-standing relationship with the black community. Then he forgot Kamala Harris existed at all. I have more people supporting me in the black community than announced for me because they know me. They know who I am. Three former chairs of the Black Caucus, the only African-American woman that ever been elected to the United States Senate. A whole range of people. No, My point no, is, that's not true. true. The other that's one is true. here. <laughs> <laughs> I said the first. Joining me now, Horace Cooper, co-chair of Project 21, author of the book, How Trump is Making Black America Great Again, along with Scott Boland, attorney and former uh, chair of the D.C. Democrat Party. Scott, what does it say that those who were the most talked about, um, uh, those most talked about moments from last night involved those face-offs on those issues? Well, the, uh, it, it was a pretty conservative debate. And by the way, I think there is a unifying message behind the Democrats. All of them is health care and education and closing this wealth and uh, uh, wealth disparity. I don't agree but on let me just say They're that. savaging well, that, each other that on health care. That wasn't part of the debate last night, but that's a unifying message. They're savaging now, uh, Warren on health care. But let's, let's get back to this. Yeah, this but, is important. Let's but, focus on Biden. Biden. He's the front okay. runner still. And it might, maybe not in Iowa, but most other uh, places he in the is, battleground. He's but in, he, he was slammed relentlessly last night on Race. Well, but I think Biden brought that on himself, okay, because remember the narrative that he started to spin, it started off marijuana and then he started to talk about his black voter support and Obama and, and then he has these gaffes and these gaffes are embarrassing. They weren't laughing at him. I'm sorry, they weren't laughing with him. They were laughing at him and he brought that on himself and so uh, to be the face of the Democratic Party, he's got to get rid of those gaffes. I don't know what's causing it, if you will. But he brought that on himself. He's got more black votes than anybody. That's what's going to get him the nomination. But he's, he needs to stop talking about it, at least, because every time he talks, it seems that he says yeah. something wrong or there's a gaffe. Uh, Horace, the, Trump is going to, I think, next year say, you might not like every tweet, but I'm delivering results. They have a lot of rhetoric. A lot of, they, they don't like me. They don't like who I am. They don't like what I've done. But here are the results I've delivered. How, in the end, does that play out? Well. One, I think that Trump has a very good record to run on. There are a lot of Americans who happen to be black who are going to look around and say, hey, there's more money in my, uh, my checking account. Not much there more. Are more. Yes, absolutely. $5,000 on black average. 8% of That's black true. support. He That's may have true. a message. That is. It is. is. Okay, I gave you your chance. Go right ahead. There are more black Americans who are going to go home for Thanksgiving than we have seen in the last 13 years. There are more black more Americans. More money in their pocket. There are more yeah, black Americans pocket. are going to have pickup trucks than we have seen in the last 10 years. How do you know that? Because I'm actually, you if you read that? my book, okay. you'll see all the data on this. The point about it is this. Yeah. He has a good record to run on. The other side should be trying to come up with a good record, but instead, they're We're stuck impeaching the president, on yeah. identity politics. All right, I want to get to this. Mayor Pete tried to compare really his good. struggles. Listen, this, <laughs> this Pete Buttigieg moment is fascinating. Mm -hmm. He tried to compare his own struggles as a gay American to those of black Americans. Watch. While I do not have the experience of ever having been discriminated against because of the color of my skin, I do have the experience of sometimes feeling like a stranger in my own country. Kamala Harris saw an opening there and seized on it. We know that it is important that we not compare struggles. What he did on the stage, I just, it's just not productive, and I think it's a bit naive. Uh, well, how did you take his comment? Stranger in his own... I think he must he, have been talking about his own uh, Exactly, and it's never good to compare the struggles of African Americans or Jewish uh, people or gay people. They're all different. They're, they're all very different. I can tell you, and the other reason, 400 
years of slavery and segregation and Jim Crow in something you really want to compare about or even discuss with African Americans. What's his problem? He has a problem with, with African American voters. There's no doubt about it. Because he doesn't connect to them and he's not talking about issues important mm -hmm. to them and he doesn't have a history with them. Until he does that, until he connects and starts talking about criminal justice reform. He's going to win Iowa and New Hampshire. Yeah, but that may Trump not has be done enough. criminal justice that reform. May not be but enough. he's going to win Iowa, it looks like, and he could win uh, in New Hampshire. Energy, Buttigieg. That's, that's where the energy in the Democrats is right now. They're with this new idea, LGBTQ, all of the identity politics. Blacks, you just get at the back of the political bus. Oh, oh very that's provocative. Not true. What well, are you talking about? We're the largest position. block of voters in the Democratic Party. All right, guys, Party. we got to go. We're going to make that decision. All right. We're going to well, we'll we'll work on that, too. I adore both of you, but we have to go. All right, <laughs> speak, speaking.